hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is going to be a may manga haul and it feels like yesterday i was filming april so that's what's happening i might have to film like one more clip because i am going to barnes and noble today so we're gonna see for any updates but i mainly just wanted to film this right now because one i'm glammed up two I just wanted to take advantage of it in film because I'm really excited to show you what I got. It doesn't feel like as much as last month, but I can't tell, okay? But we still got quite a bit. Hopefully you find like a recommendation or something you're interested in to get into. So let's just get started. So the first two manga volumes we're going to talk about, this one I got in the beginning of May and this one I literally got recently and my friend bought it for me and I was very grateful for that. And that is Full Metal Alchemist volumes 16 and 17 and it's the Full Metal editions. So I'm caught up with it physically and I mean at this point, if you know Full Metal Alchemist, you know. If you don't, what are you doing? I enjoyed the manga, the world, the system, the characters, everything about it is just so good. And only one more volume is coming out and that'll be the end of an era. And I'll be very emotional because this is one of the first few manga I ever collected and I do need to keep reading more. I'm only on volume 10. I do need to keep reading more of the series, but this is like your classic go-to manga series to get into and I'm very excited that I have it and I'm caught up and one more volume left. So yeah, this series I want to focus on collecting and that is Hina Matsuri volumes 2 and 3. This is kind of slice of life, kind of a bit of action, comedy. I wish I could explain to you what it's about but here you are. But yes, I'm very excited and I do plan on collecting more and I don't know, I feel like this is just something I'm gonna like and I mean, look at that. It looks like so much fun. So now I've been like focusing on collecting series like one at a time and it's been working really well. I've done it before, I don't know why I stopped. But yes, yeah, so I have that. Now this one is problematic, not really, just for my friends. And that is Beastars volume 16 and I'm not sorry about it. I'm not, I'm not. Um, so yeah, this is just me keeping up with the collection. I'm only two volumes behind, but I'm doing pretty good. And <sighs> the series is so good. I want to keep reading, but I know once I keep reading, I'm going to be binging. So, you know, with these stars, I know this intimidates you, but it's genuinely a really good story with complex characters. Don't be scared just because they're animals. Of course, um be older teen to read this but seriously the story and everything the setting is really good and if you're willing to give a chance on it i say do it because you're missing out on some good content like trust me so this series i need to actually start reading it because it's four volumes out right now and that is Free Rin Beyond Journey's End. I bought volume three last month so it seems like the releases are every month so i'm like Okay, I should get started on this series, but if you haven't watched the last manga haul, it's pretty much about the state of immortality and what happens after your journey, your mission is accomplished, and what goes on after that. And the main character, she's an elf, so she lives on and she sees her crew like getting older and passing away and she's like, going through all that and yeah I feel like a lot of stuff happens the covers are stunning and there's only four volumes out so if you want to give it a try I don't see why not with this one I got Cheeky Brat volume three and this has to deal with a girl who has a crush on a guy and she becomes manager of the basketball team she finds out the captain has a girlfriend but one of the players actually has a, a crush on her and feelings for her and he's like why don't you get with me instead and i do need to read this because i've been keeping up with this series and so far i've been really liking it the banter is good the relationship is fun to watch and yeah i'm excited to see for what more there is to come of it 
and if you want to check it out i mean why not it's only three volumes out right now in english and i'm excited to keep collecting this series because i know it's really fun and very entertaining to read now this one is a new series i have collected and i got very dedicated to collecting it there's only five volumes out right now and once you see it you're gonna be like sherilyn <laughs> you're crazy but this series like the anime has blown up and even when it got restocked it was gone the same day but i managed to be able to get all five volumes of my dress up darling and as you can see all of these are wrapped except for volume four i got on amazon this series has gotten really popular and it kind of intimidates me because like as you can see like it's wrapped so you know it's like um what is in this you know i don't know what to expect what's in this series and i have been curious about it but from what people have told me like the edginess of everything or what's going on is generally not as bad as you think it is of course be older to read the series but apparently it's not as bad as you think it is so i'm like okay that like shouldn't intimidate me also i literally read we never learn and sweat and soap so i don't know why i'm like oh my god it's wrapped i don't want to touch it but then i read the synopsis and it's actually pretty interesting it's the class loner and the class beauty they end up having a secret relationship but more so he actually sews her cosplay which she's very passionate about and of course the guy he's a loner he's not that popular so when he gets caught sewing that's when she actually wants him to sew for her cosplay and that's the part that's kind of edgy there's nothing like there's nothing from what i've heard it's like not that bad so i'm like okay all right then i'm gonna give it a shot i genuinely felt like i was gonna like it but i was too scared because i didn't know how like it was but when they told me it's not that bad i did everything in my power to get all five volumes can you believe that it's may and this is all i got for the month obviously this is still a lot okay we're not we're gonna take that to account also to keep in mind full metal alchemist is twenty dollars got me lost on that one is twenty dollars but i am gonna go to barnes and noble today so let's see if i pick up anything else and i'll update you the next day but for now, it seems like this is what I've mainly got for the month. I'll see if there's anything else I pick up in store. We'll see. Okay, so it is June 2nd. And you really don't think that you're going to buy this much manga. It's like, oh, it's only a few days. Like, no manga is going to be bought in the end of May manga was bought so the first thing i got was seaside stranger volume one this is interesting because this is older teen and even then this was wrapped and it's a gay romance and basically it's about ever since his parents disown him for being gay shun has been living with his aunt on a small island near okinawa one day he meets Mio, a high school student who recently lost his own parents and now spends his day sitting by the sea. The two young men begin to open up to each other until Mio reveals that he's leaving. Three years later, an adult Mio returns to the island to confess his true feelings, but is Shun ready for a relationship? Usually I would like buy all the volumes because I know I'm going to like it, but with this one, just to be safe, I'm just going to read this volume and see my final thoughts. I'm not that picky with manga, but you know, when I was seeing the mixed reviews, I was a little concerned. I was a little scared, but I'm really excited to check this out. It is just a beautiful manga regardless. Like this, I would just keep in my collection just cause it is stunning. But yeah, um, I did try to start it, but then I stopped. Um, that's just me, you know, but. <laughs> We're gonna see what I think about it in the future. Then next thing I got was my highly anticipated release of We Never Learn volume 21 and it is the last volume of We Never Learn and guys I am gonna be filming a video 
in the future with certain manga series and I'm emotional thinking about it because like oh my god and this is thick you could tell this is the last volume and it's a harem manga so of course be a bit older but it's just silly goofy times you know if you have an immature brain of a 12 year old boy it's just a good time you know and in recent volumes i've been reading like um like 11 to 14 i was seeing like character development more so like um more in-depth things with the characters and i was so surprised there are some people that are like oh my god it's so surface level it's a harem what do you expect but i really enjoyed this series and the thought of like ending it is gonna kill me but it feels nice to have completed my collection for we never learn and as you can see final volume and it's a lot to take in now this one is me keeping up with my collection as well and that's mob psycho 100 volume 8 and this is more of a sci-fi manga series and i read the first two volumes and i am liking it overall but it's just with this series i have to be in a specific mood and this is about this guy and there's this world where pretty much um there's like people who are able to like exercise like spirits and everything i'm bad at explaining things so don't come to me for that but with him you know he is a very powerful one but he stays very monotone very like simple like the whole time because if he gets to a hundred percent that's when like his full capability is shown and you kind of don't want him to get at that level but it's really cool to see and honestly i feel like this is one of the cases where i think the anime is better than the manga because i've only watched like like two episodes of the anime and i really enjoyed that and i'm enjoying this as well honestly but again it's just like something that's like i gotta be in in the mood to pick up but i do feel bad for mob because he keeps getting taken advantage of by this character reagan like pretending that reagan's pretending that he knows all and like he's all that when really he's just taking advantage of mob's power to make money off of it but i do need to read more of this series like it's kind of embarrassing that i haven't you know this one i have been wanting for so long and even the rest of the series is still hard to get but i'm trying my best and that is fire punch volume four I'm so lucky to be able to have this. I have the first three volumes. Um, there's eight in total, I think. So it's not a lot, but it sells out like nobody's business. And I was lucky enough to get volume four. And this is actually the creator of Chainsaw Man. Yeah, Chainsaw Man. And that one's been like widely popular. But I wanted to check out this series first. It's about this guy who has a sibling and something happens to the sibling and he is seeking revenge and there's different powers that i believe each person has again don't come for me this is not accurate information i would suggest you looking it up but he could turn himself on fire and i think that is very cool joey the anime man he explains it the best way possible so you know i think i'm just gonna link that below because i'm not good at explaining things but yeah i'm really happy to have volume four because i want to get all the volumes just so i could just read it through because i feel like i'm gonna like it and i really like the concept of it and the last things i got in may um uh, my friends aren't gonna be happy about this one but it's no regrets so i got volume 17 and 18 of B stars and I'm officially caught up physically with the manga and I'm very happy about that it's always nice to like be up to date with the manga releases so you don't have to worry about it and just like buy the next one when it comes out it's like nothing to stress over but yeah I mean what more can I say <laughs> my friends they judge me but this series is great for reason and i'm only on volume seven and it's slowly like it's taking that dark turn and 
I don't know where it's gonna go from here because I see like this character on the cover and like obviously like I know these two but then who's that so it's like who are these characters coming into the picture um but I'm really excited and there is like a side story thing called beast complex and I think the author wrote that before writing this series I don't know we'll see but yeah this again was just me keeping up with the collection and I am caught up and I'm very proud of myself for it so that is my manga haul um it's quite a bit in retrospect I'm like oh I did a number okay um I feel like I should count how much manga I bought but we're not gonna do that to myself yeah I mean already from the last few days of May I already have a stack so you can imagine what the rest of it was but yeah I mean I got some really good manga I'm keeping up with my collection it's it's all nice things it's all good things here but I hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully um this gets better I'm trying to figure out my format for these manga hauls and the months go by so fast it's actually ridiculous so we gotta wrap things up i need to edit this video because look yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time bye